Hello, and welcome to the channel where Billy the Limpets are rife. Just like this idiot. Oh no! There's always that one player who is absolutely shit on the ball, but will murder everyone on the pitch just to get it back. Case in point, the female in the white shirt. I'm not sure if this geezer was doing a Rabona or having a dance. Either way, it ended in humiliation. That special moment when you've got oodles of space, but the defender uses all of his finesse to muscle you off the ball. That was never a foul, ref. This innovative tackling is brilliant, and it will definitely take this guy places. Probably straight to the hospital when he gets a boot to the head. I do wonder if he had one too many drinks the night before and literally passed out. Typical Sunday league players refreshing themselves with some cool hops and barley. The Lord giveth these penguins some... Unbelievable tickers. I mean, look at Silky Sister Sue with the step over. I imagine these sisters are getting all geared up for Euro 2020, which is now taking place in 2021, due to... Cyrus the damn virus. Sergio Ramos showing even in his school days, he was taking absolutely no prisoners. He told the team he was the free kick specialist as he stands there waiting for the whistle, visualising the ball hitting the top bins. But I think he might have overestimated his ability as the ball flies past the corner flag. I've never seen a football pitch with obstacles, but this idiot manages to find it. What kind of sicko would put a pole in the middle of the pitch? Medic! When you finally hit the ball, it's sweet as a nut, but the keeper pulls off an absolute worldie to stop it hitting the top corner. Someone sand him up! I can hear the fans going wild, and that means one thing. We're all aboard the showboat! Oh, it was more like a canoe that was just capsizing. Oh dear. There's only one surefire way to get over the humiliation of a nutmeg and that's to feign an injury and roll around on the floor like you've just been hit by a fucking car. As an elected throw-in taker, you have one fucking job, and that's to get the ball back into play. Unfortunately for this guy, he's an idiot who now deserves to be subbed off. I understand children not getting it right, but you're a full-grown man who has now embarrassed himself in front of the whole pitch. No idea what this game is, but if you're the slowest of the bunch, be prepared to get smashed. You need to step up your pace game, fella. I can't tell if this young ankle biter is a Billy the Limpet level striker or a Virgil van Dyke level defender with the way he kept the ball out of the net. One drop of the shoulder and the defender is sliding his ass home. He thought he could read the game, but you can't hide from this kind of humiliation, and now he looks like he wants to take himself off the pitch. These two sprightly youths take out five players in about four touches. Well played. Words can't explain what's about to happen, so I'm going to leave you with this. Sportsmanship goes out the window when you see the red mist, but fly kicking your opponent like that will see you taking an early bath. When you mark someone that tight, you are always primed for a nutmeg. Or two. You need to take yourself home, son. He's so pissed off the opposition scored, not only did he almost smash his face into the post, he tried to kill the goal scorer. And now, back to the circus. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
This is football and MMA mixed with that liver kick, followed up by a ball to the body. And the ref's only given him a yellow card. WTF ref. That was straight up assault. More innovative tackling, only this time he put so much stank on it, his opponent ends up in a very compromised scorpion. And the linesman only gave a throw in. Score!